Hey guys, when Bill asked us this morning to um, give a testimony and to put it into 60 seconds, I thought, oh, that's impossible because I like to talk. But here goes. I was raised by two godly parents, have been in church since I was in cradle roll, which is the bitty, bitty babies. I was led along the way by wonderful mentors and godly, wonderful friends, and I tried to pattern my life after theirs. And I did a pretty good job. I did all the right things. I attended church. I was president of my youth group. I went to church camp every year. I did everything that I thought would make me worthy. But I didn't feel any different. When I was 12 years old, I rededicated my life, um, thinking maybe that would give me that feeling of, of worthiness. Still nothing changed. And it wasn't until 10 years ago I'm 73 years old. Ten years ago, when my life came to a shattering halt, that I finally understood what my will and his will is. I have been in a amazing marriage, a fairy tale, if you would. Everything material that a person could want, everything material that a person could do. Our children have been raised into wonderful, wonderful adults, wonderful mothers. They've got it all together. And here's the mama Wondering, what in the world? Where am I going? Who am I going with? What are we doing here? Like I said, 10 years ago, all of that came to a screeching, screeching halt. After months of trying to fix everything the way I thought it should be fixed, and then on my terms, I wanted my life back. I wanted my family back the way it was. I did not want anything to change. And like I said, after months of trying to make things happen my way, I realized I can't do this. And there's only one that can do it. And I got down on my knees in my bedroom all by myself. And I asked Jesus to come to my life, come fix my life, and I would give him my will. And whatever he did, whatever he decided for me would be fine. But I had to get to that point. You know, they say an, an, an addict or an alcoholic has to get to the bottom, to the rock bottom. Well, I'm neither an addict or an alcoholic, but I too had to get to rock bottom when there was nowhere to look but up. And when I did, when I surrendered my life to him, Immediately, the burdens on my shoulders were gone. The problems were still there, but he gave me strength. He gave me a comfort in knowing that whatever happened, he was going to work it for good. And I didn't have to worry about it. 
And so now, during all this mess that we're in, I just have to keep telling myself, you know, God's got this. He's not surprised. And whatever happens, happens. We're, we're fine. We're good. Whatever happens. And in his time, it will work out. We just have to be ready to move in his time.